So hi everybody, welcome to uh, week two with Leonie. I know a lot of you really loved week one and uh, that you've made the soup and that you've enjoyed it a lot and several of you have made the crackers and have left photographs of those, have put photographs of those onto Super Troopers, which is wonderful. I have got one question for you, Leonie. I've just picked it up on uh, beneath the video on YouTube. It says the 300 grams of mixed seeds, is that 100 of each or 100 of the three? You can mix whatever you want. I do 100, 100 sea seeds, 100 uh, flax seed or linseed, and then I do a mix of the three other seeds. Okay, the but CSC, the sunflower and the sesame, yeah. Does that total five grams in total or three? <laughs> no, it's 300 grams in total. So 100 grams sea, 100 grams uh, flax seed or linseed, and then 100 grams a mixture. Okay, that's the question, because she yeah. didn't know whether you meant that you, you had a hundred of each of the of the seeds in the mixture. No, 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 no. 100 grams yeah. with the three seeds. Yeah. And the other thing to say is that um, my doorbell might ring while I'm on this call because my whole food seeds are going to be delivered today sometime. Yeah. And it could be that just in the middle of this call, <laughs> I, get, uh, I get the postman arriving with my seeds, which would be very exciting because I haven't been able mm -hmm. to make them and uh, I'm looking forward to doing that. So as, as I think most of you know by now that Leonie is an, uh, is an expert in the whole area of healthy eating and uh, healthy cooking and uh, she's got a brilliant exercise, uh, not an exercise, but a recipe book which uh, she sent me. We'll talk about that a bit later on. Um, so I'm going to pass over to Leonie now who's going to, uh, to talk to us about breakfast. We asked requests last week and breakfast came up as the, uh, as the one that you were most keen to find out about. Quite a lot of people said I'm so fed up with a boiled egg so <laughs> oh well one of the recipes does involve eggs but it's not boiled i always recommend if you are in a hurry and you haven't got time to eat a boiled egg and an apple is perfect because if you ask, but if you have a little bit more time you can make the recipes that i'm going to show you today so i'm going to show you to make uh, mushroom and spring onion uh, muffins um, I've also prepared some uh, salmon uh, and dill muffins, but I'm not showing them you, but they're very simple. And then finally a porridge, which is a little bit different from your usual porridge. So um, I always recommend if people have breakfast to have three different ones. So not always have boiled egg, not always have yogurt. I used to be in that category. I used to have my yogurt with my fruit and my nuts every day every day the same so it would be a good idea to roll eight so have uh, maybe porridge one day have eggs another day and have your yogurt another day. so you have a bit of a variation um, so today i'll start with uh, showing you how to make the uh, mushroom and uh, spring onion muffins and also then the i call it the eat right porridge which is with apple and it's really to replace the cereals that we have. Uh, when I came to the UK, coming from Holland, I was surprised how many people would have cereals for breakfast. And they would have like a glass of orange juice, uh, cornflakes or any other cereal with milk and then have a coffee. And I thought, because coming from Holland, it was bread and cheese and milk. So it was such a difference for me. And the vast amount of choice in the supermarket as well. But People have to recognize that they are often full and full of sugar. If you just, for example, think, oh, I'll have a glass of orange juice for breakfast with some cereals. Just wanted to show you, if you have a glass of orange juice, a full one, the amount of sugar you have in there is about seven and a half teaspoons. So it adds up very quickly. And often you have about 10 teaspoons of sugar for breakfast. And that's, I think, something that we would like to avoid because uh, sugar raises your blood sugar level and ultimately if it, you don't burn it up as energy, it will be stored as fat. Hence, I'm going to make a muffin, which does involve eggs. So I'm sorry for the lady who doesn't like the boiled egg, but this is just a different one. So uh, let's start, let sorry. Me. She wasn't saying she didn't like boiled eggs. Oh, she, she did. Fed, she was fed up with it. She was bored with boiled eggs, you know, that, that some variety would be nice. And what you just said there about variety is a real lesson to me because I eat the same thing every day. Sometimes I eat the same thing at breakfast, lunch 
and I don't mean I eat the three things three times a day, but I eat the same breakfast, the same lunch, and the same supper. And um, it's because I'm I just I'm uninterested in cooking. So you know, you're encouraging me to uh, to do something a little bit different. So well, if you are in a rush, you can also just have an apple, very simple, with some nuts. And you have a breakfast, so that's really quick. So, uh, and also for those who don't like cooking, it might be a good idea to have something like that. But okay, so let's start with uh, the uh, mushroom muffin. Um, I've already cut up the mushrooms. I've used 200 grams. Um, now, just a question to you. When you clean your mushrooms, or if you have mushrooms, how would you uh, clean them? Okay, on the rare occasions that I do cooking with mushrooms, um, I would take the stalk out and I would pull off the outer, the outer um, uh, skin. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, a lot of people when they clean mushrooms, they wash them with water. Please do not do that because if you do, it absorbs water and it makes the mushrooms very wet. So not a good idea. I often use just kitchen towel to wipe it off. So uh, that's what I tend to do because then it doesn't absorb the water. So um, I've cut, cut up the mushrooms already and I'm going to show you how to do a couple and I'm turning you down to see uh, what I'm doing. So. Um, Lenny, do you, do you um, take the outer skin off or do you leave, it, leave them? No, I, leave, I try to preserve as much as the vegetable as possible. Last week we talked about cauliflower and that I wasn't throwing the leaves away. Every bit of the, of the vegetable or fruit as much as you can eat, I mean, you don't eat the stalk of an apple, that, that's not very appetizing, but you can eat, for example, the clock house. So it's the same with mushrooms. I just wipe it with a piece of kitchen towel and then I cut it. That's how I prepare them. Yeah, so yeah. I've, I've cut some here already uh, and I just slice them quite thinly like that. I do take the bottom of the stalk off um, because that's often where they grow. You don't want to have that in your mixture. So I just cut that very finely. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is to do uh, the spring onion. Uh, do you remember, uh, Tricia, last week we didn't know to which uh, family the onion belonged to? Have yeah. Do you, do you remember now or not? I think it's alliums. Yay! I, I remembered it as well afterwards. Um, we have lovely allium flowers in our garden. Yes, so do I. <laughs> But yeah. I don't know if you can eat them. Maybe you can. Lots of people do. Well, you could probably yeah. eat the bulb. Um, you know, possibly yeah. eat the bulb. But um, things like chives are alliums, aren't they? Um, yeah, and also leek, onion, onion, and then spring onions, of course. They belong to it as well. So I'm just cutting this up very finely. Um, and I use uh, three uh, spring onions. These, they, they are a bit uh, thick, these ones, uh, but it's just half a bunch of spring onions. Normally when you buy them in the supermarket, uh, use half a bunch for this and you can use the other half, for example, for a salad or something like that. Because that's the good thing about spring onions. You can eat them raw if you like. Uh, and they're often used in Chinese dishes as well with garlic and ginger. And they're absolutely I, I, gorgeous. I absolutely hate raw onions, so I will always... Yeah. Yeah, I will pick, pick onion out of any salad that people give me, you know, and I think, oh God, that's horrible because it leaves a taste in my mouth for the rest of the day. Um, but I do like them cooked. You do. And also the same with spring onions, uh, Tricia? Spring onions marginally better, but I still don't really like the taste of raw okay. onion, I have to say. Okay. Yeah. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fry the mushrooms and the onions. So I'm just going to turn you around to my cooker which you can uh, see there, I think. Yeah, there you yeah. are. So I'm turning on the heat. Um, I'm using medium heat and using extra virgin olive oil. Uh, if you use extra virgin olive oil, you just have to be careful not to heat it too much. So what I do very often is I straight away put the, the uh, ingredients in the pan. And the mushrooms. Uh, mushrooms are actually have got great medicinal purposes, uh, and also they're full of fiber and it's a good a form of protein as well. But what is interesting about mushrooms is they can mitigate diseases like um, heart disease or um, cancer, diabetes, and also Alzheimer's. 
I did, uh, it's quite an interesting thing about mushrooms. Do you like mushrooms, Tricia? I do love mushrooms. I love mushroom omelettes. Yeah. I quite like mushroom soup. Yeah. And um, yeah, when else would I eat mushrooms? Oh, I, do, I actually make something when I'm in France. I fry onions and mushrooms and I add in um, creme fraiche and mm -hmm. then I put chicken pieces in and, and serve it with uh, rice. Okay, that's yeah. a lovely dish. I would like to have that recipe, please. It's, <laughs> it's very simple, but very easy. That's fantastic. Okay. So, right, so we've got uh, the onions and mushrooms on the hob over a medium heat. And it's now time uh, to show you how to make the eat right porridge. And the ingredients I use for that is uh, almond milk, 200 uh, milliliter, 200 till 225 milliliter. I'm using uh, rolled oats and I always choose the gluten-free. It's better for your gut, it's healthier for you. Um, I've used uh, apple. I've used half an apple, which I've cut up in little pieces. Um, some almonds to, uh, to decorate and then uh, some cinnamon. Now, a, an interesting fact about um, almonds that people might not know, they tend to come from America, Greece, Turkey, and Italy, but they are heavily uh, sprayed with pesticides. And because it's quite a fat nut, it absorbs all the pesticides. And in America, currently, um, the bees are being killed because they're using too many pesticides. And bees, bees, of course, need to pollinate the plants, otherwise they can't grow. So they see a, a big diminish in, uh, in the amount of bees. So if you can, it would be best to buy organic almonds. Uh, hence, I'm using organic almond milk. Um, so I'm go just going to heat that on the hob. Just give the uh, mushrooms and uh, spring onions a bit of a stir, otherwise they, uh, they fry and they burn. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to heat uh, the almond milk. So while that is cooking. I'm putting my oats in straight away. And stir it in. But this can, you can do this as hot as you want. Uh, it just takes a couple of minutes. Um, do you ever eat porridge, uh, Tricia? No, I absolutely hate it. Do you? What do you not like about it? Um, well, it looks like wallpaper paste and it tastes slimy. Yeah, yeah. I think it's the same, actually. I think we don't like it at all. Um, but since I'm, you have to make it nice, so you have to put herbs and spices in. So that's why I love, absolutely love cinnamon. I love apple coming from Holland. Dutch apple cake is just uh, my absolute favorite. So um, doing it with the cinnamon and the apple makes it more tasty. Um, I make another one actually as well, which is just with banana. So um, I put the banana in a bowl and then I just pour it over and I use a mixed spice. It gives it a lovely, lovely taste. So um, that's a good one as well. You have to be a bit um, adventurous with uh, with porridge, I think, uh, and put fruit on it as well. Because what do you normally have for breakfast, uh, Tricia? Well, I, I see breakfast as an opportunity to eat fruit. So I tend to get a mixture yeah. of berries, uh, blackberry, you know, the... Um, Blueberries, blackberries, uh, the, you know, the little ones that are supposed to be superfoods, um, yeah. straw, strawberries, um, you know, what, whatever I've bought really, a few grapes for sweetness, um, always a banana because I think, you know, that's quite good for potassium. Um, so I try and have a mixed bowl of fruit and uh, fresh fruit and then always with um, full fat Greek yogurt, a couple of spoonfuls, and then I sprinkle it over with um, a mixture of pumpkin seeds um, and I, I buy them in Marks and Spencers as a mixture actually and I just sprinkle them over mm. the top. But that's mm. my breakfast and I, I, I eat that with a cup of tea which has got no sugar and I find that if I eat that I'm actually, I then eat nothing at all until lunchtime. I don't drink coffee so I don't have a snack mid-morning or anything and I find that that is enough for me and yeah. uh, I just feel like I'm getting the fruit, I'm getting uh, some probiotic uh, activity with the yogurt and um, it makes me feel sort of cleansed, it's a weird thing. 
I find if I eat, eat anything else, it, 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 it tends to make me feel quite heavy. Whereas if yeah. I eat that, it's, I find it quite light and I enjoy it. The, the thing is what you have done with your breakfast, you have incorporated the three groups that our body needs, which are protein, uh, fat, and uh, uh, carbohydrates. So your carbohydrates are your fruits, your yogurt is your protein, and the fat is in your seeds that you have added. And that's actually an ideal combination. That's what our breakfast should consist of. Hence, I'm showing you two recipes that in, because the uh, porridge has got the almond milk in there, it's called almonds and apples. So the idea is that it keeps you fuller for longer because protein doesn't get stored in your body, it disappears. So my porridge is now uh, nicely cooked. I'm just going to show you. That is nice and thick, so it's pretty boring now. I agree with you, nothing much about it. Till I add some apple in there. I've got the half an apple up in uh, small little cubes, and then I'm going to put some cinnamon in as well. And I'm putting some almonds in. So as again, all those proteins are in here now which is fantastic. So give it a bit of a stir. I might actually eat this later. It will be cold and it'll be very stiff, I think, but I'll see it as a bit of a cake because you can see that the consistency is now nice and thick. Probably not what you particularly like, Tricia, or... I, th I think um, I could be persuaded to eat that. I'd have to taste it first. Um, I, yeah. I'm yeah. Well, if you if you have time, you're very welcome to come over. <laughs> <laughs> that would so be the answer. Saying. That would definitely be the answer, Lane. If I could pop yeah. over to see you, um, yeah. I, I mean, I, do you know what? On a cold winter's morning, I can absolutely understand. I mean, you, you know, if I had the sort of lifestyle where I got up at the crack of dawn and it was cold, and I took the dog out for a walk in the in the frost. And I came back and made that. I can imagine that that would be the most perfect. Uh, it is a very hearty nutritious. breakfast. And also, again, it keeps you full. So what I do is I sprinkle just for decoration a few almonds on the top. But if you want, you can add some fruit to this as well. There is, of course, some apple in there, which is actually sufficient. Or replace it with a banana or any other fruit that you, you fancy. So that is the porridge. Yeah. Done that one, so I'll leave that open here for you to see. Um, and I'm just going to show you what the um, uh, mushrooms and spring onions, I couldn't remember the name by doing. They are now nearly cooked. And what you have with mushrooms, they are very liquid. You see, there's a little bit of water here dripping off. Yeah. And you don't want that in your muffin. So uh, what I do is I spoon it out because otherwise your muffin gets um yeah gets very wet so soggy. what i've done sorry you don't want soggy muffins do you you don't want soggy muffins absolutely not so i've got a, a muffin tray which has got uh, six cases in it i've um oiled it with some olive oil so the first thing i'm going to do is to spoon in each bowl an amount of um onion and mushrooms so you, you just divide it among the holes. And it, the thing is what I always find a shame with um, when you show people and how to make food that they're not in your kitchen. They, they can't smell how beautiful this sm smells. <laughs> <laughs> no, we need smell a vision, don't we? Yeah. That, that would be the next thing, maybe. <laughs> I, can th I can think of things that I wouldn't want to be able to smell, but um, no. <laughs> the smell of delicious yeah. cooking would right. be one of them. Yeah. Okay, so we've done that. Um, I'll just turn the hop off because we're done here. Now, I'm going to move you over to my uh, board. Well, we have the muffin cases here. And they're all nicely uh, filled up, as you yeah. can see. Now, the next thing we need to do is to uh, mix the eggs. And I've used six eggs. I uh, tend to use organic. They're a little bit more expensive than normal ones, but at least I know that the chickens have had a healthy and a lovely life. So I'm going to just mix this with a hand mixer. Um, it goes going to make a little bit of a noise. So excuse me. So I won't be talking while I'm doing this. Okay. 
There we are. Presumably, if you didn't have one of those whisks, I haven't got one of those whisks, um, you could just beat the eggs up with a fork. Uh, you can, yeah. This is just a little bit uh, quicker, and I thought for the purposes of the video, absolutely, you can just whisk, whisk it up with a fork. So um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some uh, salt and pepper in. We talked about Himalayan salt, Himalayan salt last time, Tisha. Yeah. That I convinced you to take to uh, use it, and I was very pleased about that. <laughs> <laughs> you converted me, uh, Len. Converted you, yeah. You know what you were just saying there about happy chickens. Um, when I was a, uh, I buy stuff in a market in France when I'm there, and there's a woman who sells eggs from happy chickens, and she's got a photograph of all her chickens on her stall so that you oh. can see how happy they are. Oh. And um, yeah, she does a roaring trade, and then. Um, uh, at Christmas time, she kills, uh, you know, she has chickens that she actually kills and then she sells them, uh, saying they've had a really happy life and now they're ready for you to eat. Really, and, yeah. Uh, yeah, so you feel really bathed in this sense of uh, goodness that you you bought a chicken that had a, a really happy life, you know. Yeah, and it's the same with eggs because they also say if the eggs, um, if a chicken has been fed organic food, it will also come into you. So it's important that you have an egg that's been healthy. Right, so we have mixed the, the, um, the uh, eggs, and as you said, you can do that with a fork. And I'm mixing that with uh, Parmesan cheese. Uh, I'm using, uh, I can't remember exactly, I just have to look it up. It's 60 grams of Parmesan cheese. Now, Parmesan cheese is very tasty and very low in fat. So it's a really good um, cheese to use. I mean, there are plenty of others. There's a low fat cheddar you can use as well, but I find this is really good for you and makes the muffins just delicious. Can so I ask you mix that, um, I don't eat cow's cheese. Um, no. I have problems with migraine and cow's cheese is, is one of the things yeah. that I find it difficult to eat. So, but I can eat goat's cheese. So I buy a hard goat's cheese that you can grate and it's very, very tasty. In fact, I buy, I, I also buy a sheep's cheese, a used milk sheep's cheese, which is- called Manchego, is it called Manchego? No, it's called Osso Irat Irati. Oh yeah, I know that one. That's yeah. my favorite. <laughs> yeah, it's a good taste and it's quite strong. So I could grate that in there instead of- Absolutely. The you can use any cheese you like, but if you want to be healthy, I wouldn't recommend soft cheeses because no. they are too high in fat. So you can use a goat's cheese, a sheep cheese, um, and you can use Parmesan cheese. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we've divided, as I said before, the mushrooms in the muffin cases. And the next thing is just so simple. You're uh, putting the mixture on the top, divided over the six cases. And uh, eggs are such a good form of protein. And again, full of amino acids. Now, Eggs actually uh, are the one product of food that contains the most amino acids. Amino acids are building blocks. Yeah. So that's for uh, renewing of your cells and your bones. So very good to have. Um, years and years ago, there was a bit of a dilemma or talk about uh, eggs that they would uh, make your cholesterol high. But if you are healthy, you don't need to worry about that. And you can easily have two eggs a day. So yeah, it's really interesting. I watched a television program about nutrition and they were um, it was about uh, people in Mexico who eat the most eggs in the world, I think, in Mexico. And there was a wrestler and he got all his protein from eggs and he ate he ate up to 30 eggs a day. And he was perfectly healthy and had no raised cholesterol. And it was a very interesting program. It was sort of, um, it was one of those Michael Mosley programs. And he, yeah. he, was, he was talking about how, you know, these, these things come to the fore and they become a, you know, a thing that uh, eggs equal cholesterol and you shouldn't be eating. Of course, we had a problem in this country that Edwina Curry exposed yes. salmonella. So that is a completely different thing. But if you're eating a, a good egg that's produced well and is not full of uh, bacteria, then, um, you know, they are good for you. And I've started eating eggs again. Um, so I will have a boiled egg for my lunch sometime. <laughs> Um, and uh, and I, I do love omelettes. I find omelettes a good way to have for my supper because they're quick and easy. And uh, yeah. I sometimes have a three egg omelette because if I don't, I get hungry in the night. You know, I need three eggs to, to, uh, to be enough if I then fill it with a bit of goat's cheese and some uh, tomatoes or something. 
Yeah, that's that's a really good idea. I, I uh, read a story from a, an American bodybuilder, a lady who um, was very muscly and like this and, you know, and she would eat like 16 egg whites a day just to get her muscles. And I was like, whoa, she was in her early 70s as well. Amazing lady. Okay, so I've filled up the muffin cases. They're now um, going into the oven and I've turned the oven or preheated it on 180 degrees Celsius. And they're going in here for about 20 to 25 minutes. Um, and I, of course, I don't want you to hold on for that uh, long. So I'm just going to show you what the end result is. Um, I've made two types of muffins. So um, these are the mu mushroom muffins, these ones here in the front, and they're really good. You can freeze them in as well. So if you make a batch, uh, freeze them in, you can have them for lunch, for dinner. And then I also made, and you'll find the recipe also in my book, is uh, with salmon and dill and chives. Um, and that is even simpler than the mushroom one I showed you. Because all you need to do is you fill your muffin case with smoked salmon, and you pour your egg mixture in. It can't be simpler than that. And you can use a fork, so you don't need to use a hand mixer. So that's why the, uh, we will be eating lots of muffins. Loads will be going in the freezer and we'll have some for dinner tonight, but also great as a snack or for lunch. Yeah, absolutely so. brilliant. Uh, they look lovely, uh, Lenny. Thank you so Thank much you. for showing us those. Um, and uh, I think even I could make those, yeah. Kisha, if you're hesitant, Start with the smoked salmon one. Okay. But have you got a muffin case, a tray? Uh, no, but I could invest in a muffin case. Um, you know, th these are things that I am prepared to invest in if I feel that they are in a long-term capacity and yeah. going to um, be useful to me. Um, mm -hmm. it, it's quite a shame at the moment. We've got, I've got within walking distance of here, I've got a massive Lakeland store that's obviously full of all of these oh, things. Yeah. Yeah, and, um, you know, I could pop down there, but I think I can do clicking text from there, or I could yeah. just do it, um, you know, uh, uh, online. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna gonna show everybody your book again, um, because it is. I, I I only got it yesterday afternoon. The post is a bit slow at the moment, so I've only just received it, but I've have had a chance to look through it, and uh, it's very uh, very clearly set out with some you know pictures of everything and how it's supposed to look. Uh, quite nice big print, which those of you with uh, eyesight challenges will appreciate, and um, and a great variety of food. I was going to suggest to you, um, Leonie, for next week that uh, we perhaps do a, a fish dish. Um, yeah. I eat a lot of fish. I get very bored with the uh, the things that I'm doing. So I'd like a bit of, um, I'd love something to do interesting with salmon. And uh, and anything else that you you know you'd like to choose to show us if you could if you feel you can do a couple of yeah them. of course I've got uh, yeah and just remember that if you do want Lenny's book you can get it from her website um, uh, which is uh, www.eatright.co.uk you can see it on the screen the spelling of eat right it's a W in there but I believe that the link will be below the video it will all the, yeah. all the things are below the video we had a we had a slight issue last week with people saying I can't see the recipes you say they're under the video and it was yeah. you had to click show more with the blurb under the video so just remember that those of you watching this we will put the recipes underneath the video on YouTube just click on that show more there's a blurb about the video show more and then the comment so that's where you'll find it and I think we also Bryony I think we ended up putting the um, recipes onto Super Troopers um, certainly we did in, our, in in answers to questions so please don't get frustrated um, just have a look they are there and uh, and then of course they're all in Lenny's book anyway if you want to have them um, in that form so that you've got them going forward and written down for you um, so thank you, Lenny, again. That was absolutely a brilliant. Pleasure. I just wanted to show you the end result in the book. You see, this is the page with the muffins on there. And this is the one with the uh, uh, porridge that we yeah. made. So I used the same bowl so everybody knows it's authentic. Absolutely, yes, um, 100%. And uh, thank you so much for that, Lenny. We we'll look forward to seeing you next week for our um, fish dishes. And yeah, um, yeah. and uh, healthy eating, everybody. Um, yeah, look after yourself and stay safe. That's important. Very much. And eat well. <laughs>
and eat well. Okay, okay. thank you. Bye-bye, everybody. It's a pleasure. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.